officers, the situation was getting out of hand. Like you can make up an excuse quite easily. The police have so much power and also mm -hmm. the protesters are actually burned a lot, I would say. When it hits the ground, uh, I remember, you know, seeing it for the first time, you know, it, it's, it's deafening. not even just the violence, I think their attitude worse and worse over time. And it, it's so enraging as a Hong Konger, you know, I'm liable to the same laws and I am in the same society and they're there supposed to protect me just as much as anyone else. And to see them, I mean, it was just so petty and unprofessional. It was almost even worse than the violence because it's just so immature and, and to, you know, violence, it's almost easier to justify, right? Like the police, you can always argue that it was to control the protesters, the situation was getting out of hand. Like you can make up an excuse quite easily, but for the, the things that came out of the police's mouths and the things, some of the things that they did that were so petty and, and unprofessional, there's really no excuse for and shows possibly more than most, a lot of the violence that they really are acting with impunity and you kind of feel powerless in that situation because if they're doing that, they know that they can act that way and they know they're going to get away with it. We've been seeing the use of, you know, more crowd control, you know, firearms and weapons uh, since the process has been ongoing. Um, you know, more proper bullets, maybe less beanbags, but still. Um, you know, but we're also seeing new weapons being introduced. You know, you never forget seeing the water cannon truck in Hong Kong and then seeing water cannon truck with dyes, with, with, with irritants, with pepper uh, spray, you know, ingredients in there. Then we're seeing the tear gas becoming, uh, you know, from American maids to become the Chinese made ones, potentially more toxic, uh, definitely gives off more heat, definitely gives off uh, a, a much louder sound when it hits the ground. Uh, I remember, you know, seeing it for the first time, you know, it, it's, it's deafening, it's, it's, it's scary, that stuff. And now the, you know, they're talking about potentially bringing in tasers. I, I don't have an answer to, you know, why is there a need to, a need to bring in more weapons and to increase the power of those weapons already used, you know, when the authorities are already on the upper hands. But I think that's the trend. Now is because of the police have so much power and also mm -hmm. The protesters are actually burned a lot, I would say, because a lot mm -hmm. of um, arrest. And now with the coronavirus, actually, it's the time for the police to charge back. You know, if you hear all this um, message from a telegram, um, it's a lot of keeping um, call from the house and arrest them. You know, without media's know as well, you know, that's all in between the... Um, the telegram passing on each other and I think oh someone has been arrested again you know showing the picture police was in this estate and blah 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 so I think for them right now if you already been arrested in the police station I think more or less you will be a little bit caution of what you're going to do next and then also some I know they will go back out some will be arrested on the second time but their consequences are a lot higher A year ago, we at least pretended there was, you know, rule of law that this was the Hong Kong of before, that there's avenues of, of holding the police or the government accountable. But now that it's been a year of, of seeing erosion after erosion of, of, of people, I think it's clear that it's going to be harder and harder to function. <laughs>